Hello, my name's Zoe, I'm a bookseller here at Blackwell's Oxford Broad Street. And today, in honour of Academic Book Week, I'm here to show you around our world-famous Norrington Room. The Norrington Room opened in 1966, when Toby Blackwell had approached Lord Norrington of Trinity College and asked whether we could build under the premises and open what would eventually be the largest room selling books in the world. The best book in the politics department at the moment, I think, is Why We Get the Wrong Politicians by Isabel Hardman. It is a comprehensive and objective view of how government works and I just really love it as an accessible introduction to politics. Uncanny Valley is a memoir of someone who moves from publish the publishing industry to uh, Silicon Valley and is not just about the programmer culture of Silicon Valley, but also about the burgeoning age of surveillance capitalism. It's a really accessible read for anyone who doesn't think that they like business or technology books um, and it's really well written. The travel department is one of the most exciting areas of the Norrington Room. It not only houses all of our guidebooks and books to satisfy your wanderlust, but it also houses our mapping department. So we create special um, ordnance survey maps for um, architectural customers and also people who are looking for bespoke um, historical maps and walking guides. The book that I recommend from the travel department is Around the World in 80 Trains. It, for someone who loves adventure travel and train travel, it is the perfect book to sit when you perhaps don't have the money to go elsewhere, but you can travel through someone else's eyes. Since the publication of something like This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay, we've seen a number of exposés of various areas of public sectors. One of the books that has come out of this trend is The Secret Barrister, um, which for someone who had absolutely no knowledge of uh, the English legal system is a really, really valuable read. It highlights a lot of issues that I didn't even know existed and is really engaging. The Education and Languages Department has everything you could possibly need throughout your academic life, from right from Key Stage 1 right through to adult learning of languages. Um, the first book that I'd recommend from this department is Posh Boys. Um, it looks at um, how we have come to have private schools in our system and the effect that it has on our current politics. Um, it's a really eye-opening account of why we've ended up in the situation we have and will lead you, leave you with a lot of thoughts about where private education in this country is going. The next book is actually the book that led me to study linguistics at university and it's called Through the Looking Glass by Guy Deutscher. This is a book that for anyone who speaks another language or even if you're monolingual you'll find something really interesting in it. It's about how the language you speak affects how you think and the very controversial argument of whether it does or not.
This Academic Book Week, the theme is environment, and the Booksellers Association has put together a list of books, along with booksellers, that we think that you should read. Uh, one of the books is What We Need to Do Now by Chris Goodall. Um, it's really easy with a lot of books about the environment and climate change to get quite downtrodden and be quite pessimistic and think that there's not actually much that you can do. This sets out a really good plan that feels doable and it's one of the reasons that I really like it. This has been my tour of the Norrington Room here at Blackwell's Broad Street. Hopefully you'll find a time to visit us 